Howdy, YouTube neighbors. JC Locke again. Hope you'll forgive my voice today. I'm still recovering from the flu. So, this is usually the part where we move on to the Exile Sweetkin uh, champion in the series, but a comment in one of my Sweetkin videos made me aware of the Beyonder clan, and I really wanted to give them a good look. So, we're going to do Beyonder this week, and then starting next week, we're probably going to alternate between Beyonder and Sweetkin. Hopefully, that'll keep things from getting stale around here. So, as you can see, I have not played any Beyonder yet, or seen it played for that matter, so this will be a true first look. Here's what I know about them, based on the Steam Workshop page. They're built around the Mania mechanic, which has positive and negative values, similar to Drift from Sentinels of the Multiverse, if any of y'all have ever played that. Unlike everything else in Monster Train, Mania affects every floor when it's activated. Next, Banner Units and Champion Paths are not the same between runs, so apparently their stats and abilities will be different every time you play them. Don't know how I feel about that, as it runs contrary to the basic tenets of roguelike deck builders, but you never really know until you give it a try. In addition to the typical new artifacts you'd expect from a mod clan, each other clan has a new Beyonder-flavored artifact as well. This apparently includes the other modded clans, but Equestrian is probably the only one we're going to see on this channel. Finally, it appears that the art is AI-generated, which actually seems proper given the theme of madness. So, that's all I know about them. Let's take them out for a test drive. Okay, looking ahead. Wait, what's this? The Unseeing Eye. Allied starter cards will be afflictive or compulsive to balance beyond a starter card. Okay. Alright, so afflictive is my upshift, and compulsive is my downshift. Counts as manic. Okay. And when I hit three or negative three, bad things happen? Okay. Alright, looking ahead, we got, uh, oh god, Dace Talos, Seraph the Patient, and Garbage Arcus. That's a, that's a pretty terrible set of bosses to start with. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at my starters. So now when I play Torches, I'm going to decrease my Mania by one. Okay. Seer Mind... It's afflictive, so it increases the meaning by one. Entropic multiplies the effect of this card's damage as that is affected by two when the insanity threshold is reached. Okay. So, if I'm reading this right, at one mania it deals eight, two mania it deals sixteen. And then, at 3 mania, it would be 24, but it's going to be multiplied by 2, so 48. Okay. Okay. So, we are... So, default champion apparently wants mania above 0, so we want... Afflictive cards. Okay. Now, let's talk about the cards we got. We got Welder Helpers. We know what they do. Soundless. Immune to Neurosis. Okay. Uh, neurosis, if I remember right, is what happens when you hit minus three in me? Mania. Okay. Stealth three. Oh, okay. So, when Mania rises above zero, he gets... Minus one health. Anxiety. Okay, so so long as I can... Yeah, so long as I can decrease Mania, I can, I can use him to give stealth to my units. That seems good. But that also means that it's going to be working against Seer Mind. Okay. Heebie-jeebies is afflictive, which means it increases. Apply Jitter 6 to enemy units. Increases damage by taken by one per stack. Decreases when damaged and at the end of each turn. Okay, so it kind of works like poison from uh, uh, 
oh, that, that Earthbound roguelike game I once played. I, I'm, I'm all of a sudden drawing a blank on the name of. So it, it works kind of like somewhere between Reap and Frostbite. I, I think it's going to be really good for Jitters. I think it's going to be really good for Bosses and Relentless. But unless you can hit enemies a whole bunch of times, I can't imagine that Jitters would be better than, say, Frostbite. So, very situational. And I definitely want to look at the champion first. Formless. Conductor. Okay. Formless. Immune to panic. Okay, so I can raise my hysteria as much as I can without him... What does mania... Hysteria... Panic do? Crud. Okay. If memory serves, I think panic means I take double damage. Or does that mean I'm dazed? No, I think it's I think it's uh when it's at minus three is when I get dazed. Okay. So if we take the form list, we definitely want to go all in on hysteria, especially since anxiety hurts him. And this one's mutated. And it... It scales mutated units. No, I don't have mutated units. I assume there's going to be some means of getting mutated units. So... My inclination right now... Is to go with the formless... And go all in on anxiety. Er, yeah, on anxiety. The problem is this only buffs him, whereas the conductor buffs the entire floor. Anxiety. That means that my three-eyed fish are not going to be particularly good. But if I can't get mutated units, the conductor is a 1035 and does... Well, no, he'll, he'll, he'll at least scale himself. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the formless. I like having a 40-40 to start with. Not knowing what I'm getting into. So we're going to start with formless. And just remember, with the formless, we want hysteria, not anxiety. And we, we can't even just keep... Hysteria to a floor because it affects the entire train. Uh, I was hoping to see a uh, Beyonder artifact here. Plus three magic power is pretty decent for what I'm starting with. If we were in Covenant 25, I would take the Guild Marker, but we're not. So the 25% reduction is not nearly as good because the, the prices are already cheaper. So I'm going to take the Tempered Talisman. Given that I have a 40-40 champion, I feel confident taking this money. Let's take a look at our banners. So we have Beyonder banners. We have banners on two and three, both sides. I'm probably going to hit the Beyonder banner on number four. Unfortunately, that means that my first steel shop will be on five if I want to see Beyonder banners. I could do Beyonder than, than Hellhorn to see the steel on three. Or I might have a unit craft on one. So let's let's put that decision off for now. Mark of Invasion. Yeah, I'll, I will take some higher damage for money. Especially since I have six pings in my starter. Well, six damage bells in my starters. Alright. So we'll put Locomotive down. We'll put down a Welder. No. He takes three. Okay, so we're not going to put a Welder Helper down here. 
We'll put Train Steward down. Seer Mind. Which did indeed trigger his hysteria. He's now 41. And I think I'm just going to kill off this Train Steward. Okay. Decreases at the end of each turn. Okay. I want to greed for money. That is going to put me at minus one. Apparently it resets at the end of each turn, which seems good. We'll put these guys down. And we're not going to mess with the three-eyed fish. I might redraw to my DD cheese. I'd rather save that for the boss. Sorry about the hiccup in the video there. I had a, uh, a bit of a coughing fit and I hit the pause the uh, recording instead of uh, mute the mic. <laughs> this is afflictive, so I'm keen on playing it here. Just to verify, yeah, this is, in fact, well, hold on. So you're, so just to verify, if I play this off floor, you will still go down. No, you didn't. Oh, okay, because I brought it back down to zero. That kind of makes sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, definitely want to do heebie jeebies down here. And this will do 16, right? Yeah. Let's do that down here. Okay, now we're going to ver verify because we're going to do... But we're not going to trigger anxiety. Because we're not going to go below zero. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see. Uh, I should have pinged him out and dropped another welder helper. Oh, well. There's no point in playing either of those. Just do a bunch of damage here. Yeah, we're just gonna sear him to death. Okay, okay. I'm I'm getting the feel for this now. All right, new card, Survival Instinct. Compulsive, okay, that's not what I want. I want Afflictive. I already have an Uncommon in my Common Pack. That's my luck. So, plus 10 health, move a unit to the back. That seems like a really good holdover target, but the problem is it's Compulsive, and that's not what I want. Both of these are Compulsive. Okay. So so there are in fact cards that make mutated units. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, apparently I'm gonna be doing a bunch of spell damage this run. Well twenty damage to the front enemy unit for each mania above zero three times. That that seems good. I'm taking that. So I just took a three cost card.
I still think it might be right to take Ritual of Battle here. I don't know. Worth noting, we do need to come up with a Seraph the Patient plan. Yeah, I'm going to a magic shop. I'll take Ritual of Battle. Yeah. Magic shop is showing me permafrost. I don't know how I feel about that. As much as I would love to see some artifacts, I don't feel plus 15 shards strong here. So let's take a look at the Beyonder units. Okay, well, so Formless Horror, Formless, he's immune to panic. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Formless, quick, and he, he, he buffs with anxiety. He buffs with, uh, no, he doesn't buff, but he, I, I'm not trying to do anxiety. I'm trying to do panic. He's immune to panic, so he seems good. This, on the other hand, is a sweeper. Unfortunately, my Hysteria deck is going to wreck him. Interesting. Stalker. Each turn, this card will be drawn to your hand. That seems strange for a unit. That reminds me of Magnetic from uh, the Sweetkin Clan, but that was on a spell. This is a unit. Interesting. That seems really strong somehow, but I have no idea how it actually works. Nonetheless, I'm probably not going to be taking him for his essence. I'm probably going to be taking him because he's a good unit, or at least he looks like one. Okay. Minus one. Uh, I definitely want into Looking Stars. 20 and Consume. Let's go ahead and put those on my Compulsive Torches. I don't want to keep redrawing those. Permafrost Heebie-Jeebies seems good. How much does this cost? 85? No, I want to hit Steel Shop next, so let's not waste money. Hold over. What? What? Well, what is this nonsense? Ooh, I don't like this. I, I don't. I, I count on my minus ones. What is this? Applies compulsive and removes afflictive. That's literally the opposite of what I want. I have been cheated out of a minus one. Okay, do not like. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I can put it in a, in a torch because it's already compulsive. That seems bad, but I'm going to do it. Hold over. I definitely want to hold over something that grants afflictive. Dang, a holdover minus one ritual battle would have been great, but that's not in the cards. Okay, I'll hold over looking stars. I don't know if that's right, but I'm going to do it. Then I'm just going to put a plus 10 in the seer mind. 
I'm gonna be casting those because I need the afflictive, so they might as well. We might as well improve them. Unit draft for plus four. Haste conduits, clergy. Oh, this could be dangerous. And this could definitely be dangerous. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're going formless. And... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is just going to wreck... And I'm holding that over? Yeah, I had nothing to fear. This is going to be a monkey stomping. Do I want to consume this torch? I don't think I do. I mean, it's not going to hurt me. Ooh, glowing blue. What's that mean? No, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that yet. Came to me like a wrecking ball. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna. Okay, so it's each time it goes above zero. So from one to two, two to three. Yeah. Okay. Seems good. All right, looking stars. Seer mind. And I unfortunately did not draw a torch, so I do have to face him next turn, but I'm going to wreck him. Look at this line. Look at this line. That is crazy. Ooh, afflictive. What's it do? Deal 25 damage to the front enemy unit. I'm doing a whole lot of front enemy unit damage with this deck so far. These are both compulsive. Well, this one wants to be compulsive. This is compulsive. Reach mania above zero. I mean, I do want to increase my afflictive density. AIR, AIR kind of failed us on this one, though. <laughs> That's not what I would envision a seizure looking like. Five damage. I'm going to take it just to increase my afflictive density. Another ritual of battle. Horn break is good, but I, I don't need it. Well, I don't know. It is backline access. But I have so many things competing for spell upgrades, so no. Okay. If I could somehow get ritual of battle going, deranged brutes, pretty good. Unfortunately, this is a hysteria, and I'm, I'm looking for, what, manic? Yeah, I'm looking for manic. None of these are good infusions. I'm going to skip here. It's unfortunate. I hate, I hate blowing a unit draft like that, but... Once again, we were never in any danger. Alright, gonna swing left here. Maybe look for an infusion. Multi-strike one and fragile. Yeah, 
Branded Warrior's not terrible. I should have looked at the steel shop first. Is there anything I can do to protect my formless horror? I don't have armor, Jen. I don't have... No, I can't risk it. I cannot risk a Horde Warrior infusion. I, I don't think it's Branded Warrior either, unfortunately. So... I think we skip here. Yeah, we skip here. And hope we get something decent from Talos. Quick. Can't use that. Plus 25. Plus 25 is not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm going to give him a quick plus 25. Reroll multi strike? No. Okay. The cavern's got it for me. A trap shoot, apparently. Okay. And that's a potential Seraph solution if I see a bunch of magic shops on the way. I definitely want a spell chain that gives me more mania triggers. And seizure is strictly superior to Seer Mind, so we're going to put it in Seizure. I do need to find a minus one for it, or it's not going to be playable. My next temple is five. And then it's temples all the way down. Good to know. I am not entirely happy with this ring, <laughs> but we have to move on. All right, Days Talos. Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. All right, let's play on our units. Heebie-jeebies. I wonder if this affects this is damage taken by one per stack. Yeah, that's doing 25 damage, so... So yeah, that will trigger jitters, but I do think... Actually, no. I, I am going to sear her. Yeah, that's going to do 10. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's not going to hurt because I didn't go below zero. I think I'm just going to play two seizures here. And then she's going to daze you and then get hit for 38 because of jitters. Okay. Okay. I got my looking stars now. I'll play out a train steward. I don't have anything else afflictive. Ah, bummer. I am going to torch you out so I don't have to deal with the hasty boys. Once again, nothing else afflictive. I really need to increase my afflictive density. Let's just clear out that entire line. 
give you a seizure. Yeah, we should have Dave's Talos down. All right, we'll do the improved Seer Mind. We'll do Looking Stars. Yeah, then this should be easy. <laughs> she doesn't even swing at us. Spike from Beyond. Okay, so now we see the uh, Beyonder Spike. No, that's some scaling. No, no, it's not because, yeah, it has to be non-mutated units. So, yeah, we get to do this once. There's no point in putting Remove Consume on it. Alloy of the Ancients is worth considering, too. I think we'll take, I think we'll take Beyond Spike. Soundless. Immune to Neurosis. Ugh. Once again, wrong side. And we have Horde Warrior, Branded Warrior again. No, that infusion... That infusion is definitely not bad, even though I get jitters one, because I'll be on the back line. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to skip here and take one last look at a banner. And as much as I want draw, we need Ember. We definitely need, need Ember. Well, this, this question's easy. It's two train stewards are going to be gone. Let's take a look at our champion upgrade. Okay. The stats double, looks like. Yep, that's a very simple, straightforward champion. I wish he'd gain multi strike, but, you know, beggars choosers and all that. Another holdover. I'll have to think about that. Neither of these are useful. As sad as it is, I might be doing a Welder Helper infusion. <laughs> What's Chronic? When killed or eaten, this unit gains three health per stack and is placed on top of your discard pile. Prevents pro oh, okay. I see. Chronic and Stalker. Okay. I'm... Yep, I'm seeing it. Chronic and Stalker in Interact. Yeah, I might be doing a Welder Helper infusion. That's, that's unfortunate. But I definitely cannot be adding space to him. And I definitely can't be taking a Hysteria unit. So, yeah, we skip. And we're basically going all in on spell damage here, I think. Minus one, going into Ritual. Spike, maybe? No, minus one going into Seizure for now. I don't have a holdover target. Might have put a plus 10 in another Seer Mind. Oh, here we go. Plus 10 magic power and afflictive. Okay, so that will turn one of my torches afflictive. What happens if you stick Void Stone and... Oh, well, look at that.
Look at that. Okay. So whichever one is applied last is the one that is the one that gets. Okay, yeah, I'll take a free afflicted torch. Sure. Okay, gonna remove consume the trap. Shoot. Well, dang. I'd like to have held that over. Yeah, let's see if that comes back around. I don't know what I'm doing with this ritual of battle. I don't think I'm actually going to use it. So for now, let's... Let's make my afflictive enablers free. Oh man, that's a terrible steel shop. Got a good steel shop on seven. And a good steel shop on eight. So, yeah, that's fine. I can do removal dupe on five. Which means I want the money. What am I duping? Probably trap shoot. Probably. Okay, I think we have a plan. Spikes four. I don't think I'm worried about spikes, given that I have so much spell damage. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's neither afflictive or... <sighs> That's not what you showed me at the shop, game. Well, that makes me angry. Let well, nothing be done for it. Alright. Seizure. Seizure. You guys are immune to panic, so I don't care. But I'm, I'm, I still don't want to quite go to Mania yet. Oh, but I did less damage because of that. Ugh. I did a lot less damage because of that. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't want to throw heebie-jeebies down here yet. I'm going to play that out here. And I guess play out a three-eyed fish so I don't redraw him. I guess that's what we do. Okay, so it goes red when you're about to when you're about to trigger panic. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I'm starting to, I'm starting to see a bit now how this works. 
I think I'm just gonna hit looking stars here. And then Beyonder Spike, my back unit. I guess there's no harm in saving a tiny bit of damage. Seer Mind. Wait, house top. Top's fine. Seer Mind. Seizure. Seizure. Oh, and this is going to wicked hurt. Jesus, that is going to straight kill him. Goodbye, party boy. <laughs> that was fun. Hell's Banners isn't nothing. It's close, but it's not nothing. All right. Okay, okay, we have some afflictive. Right, that makes me happy. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow, Mental Disorder looks really good. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm probably going to take Mental Disorder because it, it, if I can get rid of my Compulsive Guards... Okay, Three-Eyed Fish is not actually compulsive. I have two compulsive cards. And this is just a straight... 60 damage plus three... spell. That's a really, really big... ping. But I don't need it. I, I want mental disorder. That that's definitely happening. And do I want March of Shields? I'm gonna hold over mental disorder if I can possibly get away with it. No, I don't think I do. I think I'm I think I'm going all in on aggro. I think that's happening. Okay, so suddenly this torch has to go. I'm fine with one compulsive card in my deck. But we're gonna get rid of this train steward. Spell chain intrinsic. <sighs> intrinsic trap shoot is good. Intrinsic metal, metal disorder is amazing. Yeah, I want intrinsic. I want intrinsic hold over mental disorder. That's what I want. And for lack of anything better to do, I'm going to infuse a welder helper into my formless horror. It's sad, but that's what the run gave us. This isn't a this isn't a unit scaling run. This is a spell damage run. I wonder if Nexus Spike. Trigger is afflictive. I feel we need to find out for science. I wonder.
I don't know how Nexus Spike interacts with X spells. Probably not well. It doesn't, period. It's not eligible. Okay, good to know. I think my next spike is just going to be a seizure followed by a looking stars. And that seems good. Assuming, of course, it actually triggers afflictive. And yeah, for now, we're just going to dupe a trap shoot. Days is at present our only plan against Seraph the Patient, so. Spell Shield 2. That doesn't make me happy. We're not going to take that. Okay. So my unit's down. <laughs> Wait a minute, what just happened? My X was three, so why did I draw? Okay. That didn't adjust my mania, unfortunately. I'll save my heebie-jeebies. Double seizure. And just play out some units. Okay, science time. It only did one, but it does count as afflictive. That's not terrible. It's not great. Panic time. And everybody's dead. Okay. Yeah, I want to draw four, gain four. Or I want to discard four, gain four. Dang it, that torch just keeps showing up. I'm starting to wonder, did I misread Mental Disorder? No, it should be adjusting my mania. It just went up and then down. That's fine. I am going to hold over Looking Stars and I am going to spike. I might as well go ahead and kill you since it's going to have to be done anyway. Ouch. That did... Well. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that torch ASAP. Even though it consumes, I hate it. Okay. Seer Mind. Seizure. Seizure. Looking stars. Okay. Interesting. I drew two trap shoots. But I think I'm just going to do a whole bunch of damage to the boss. I think that is correct. Oh, 
We'll do Seer Mind, and then a Panic Looking Stars with Jitters. I'm unless there's something else that that triggers off of Jitters, I'm not impressed with Jitters as a mechanic. Ooh, Afflictive. Sacrifice all allies of the target friendly unit and gain plus 14 and chronic 1 for each ally killed. That's a rare. That's a rare. That seems like it would be amazing scaling if you have a chronic based deck, which I don't. So I can't take Highlander, even though it's afflictive. I might take heebie-jeebies just to increase the afflictive cards in my deck. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do that. That's happening. Head, I can't do much with any of these. Alright, I want to see the magic shop. Show me holdover. Double stack. I don't think that's worth it. Minus one the Seer Mind. I don't want to consume an afflictive spell. So we're going to spin Permafrost. I'm not seeing it. We'll put plus 10 into my final seer mind and minus one it. I want to go into panic every chance I get. Okay, removals. First things first, where's that torch? Gone. Secondly, ritual of battle has been a dead card for me. Let's get rid of it. I had a plan when I when I took it, and that plan is out the window. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna cool it for now. Huh. Okay. Space prison would not be the worst here. Woo, okay. We'll take it. Spell chain and intrinsic. What's my shard situation? I have temples on seven and eight. I don't know if I have any more magic damage, though, so I can't count on it. I definitely want one intrinsic trap shoot. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Garbage Arcus. Let's go. I'm going to be relying heavily on my spell damage to avoid your rally and Hellborn Harvest, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Oh, 
I, it was plus six because of my Hell's Banners. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the only thing I'm going to get by doing Mental Disorder is a couple buffs to my boss. And I did trigger Panic. That's something. I guess I might as well start Dax stacking days into Arcus since he's here. Yeah, you are a Hellborn Artist. Okay. That seems good. Yeah, I'm gonna play out that and Spike. Okay, this is horrible. This is horrible. One, two, and I want to play out my three-eyed fish. I'm taking on way too many... Way too many shards. Alright, I... I want to restart the battle. We have to play bottom. Oh, we can't play bottom. That means we have to play mid. Okay, we play mid because this is Covenant 1. Might as well play out my three-eyed fish. It's here. All right, so we're clearing mid. So I need to use my spells on bottom. So days and spike. Banners. BBGVs and Torch. And play out the Three Eyed Fish because it's here. Okay, and that's unfortunate. have to play out the spike here. Okay, that's not great. Heebie-jeebies? Okay. We're going to let six go by, but I can live with that. Yeah, we'll just play it out of the boss. We accept six going by. Okay. All right, we're at two. All right, we are in full-blown panic mode now. We've killed you off. I'm just going to torch you. And destroy your entire life. Okay, you're going down. I don't have to worry about you. Yeah, 
hand, it's panic time. Yeah, I do still want to keep you dazed. Fire off the middle disorder. Alright, we drew nothing there, but I guess that's okay. Now we're in panic mode and we're going to hit Arcus for quite a bit. Ah, oh, crud. I'm going to blow all the days here on account of this guy still alive. That's unfortunate. Well, maybe I can just kill Arcus straight up here with spell damage. Oh. Okay, that looks good. Oh, yes. We're going into full panic now. Seer mind. Seer mind. And an absolutely crazy looking stars. Not as much as I'd have hoped, but yeah. Can't have it all. But we already win. Oh, so close to killing him with spell damage. Primordial Soup. Compulsive. Why are all the compulsive cards showing up for me today? Okay, so it looks like Chronic is a compulsive deal. Okay. I can't use any of these. And we must take draw. Alright. I want to go to the steel shop. Endless. Not seeing it. Spin it. Quick. Once again, not useful. Uh, that was unfortunate. Uh, removals. I think it's going to be a train steward and a fish. I don't think I want to buy any removals because I want to save all my money for ring eight. All right, final champion path. Once again, just another big doubling. <laughs> Resolve fleece to the discard pile if not rooted, dazed, or paralyzed by necroneurosis. Interesting. So he just keeps bouncing back to your discard pile, but because he's a stalker, he comes to your hand? And he sweeps? I mean, that, at the cost of one draw, that is a crazy unit. But I don't really have an endless plan. So I think I want to stick with the guy that has 70 more health. We'll go all in on Formless. I'll ten in piercing the Nexus Spike, sure. Well, that was an unexciting ring. But, once again, we're moving on. Armor 20. With pyre wings. Ugh. I'm willing to take it on. I want money. <laughs> Alright, we are in panic mode. So this will hurt for quite a bit. Could be worse, though.
I don't want to play this. I want to greed here, for sure. I want to play out the three-eyed fish, even though I'm probably going to get Ember Drained for it later. And yeah. I want to consume that because it will put me in a panic mode. And I definitely want to panic. Now is not the time for a Nexus Spike. Okay, now we're panicked. Yeah, we are ending him up there. That's fine. I'm going to clear that line. And Spike here. All right. I'm gonna do that. All right, we're already in panic mode. Drop a welder helper. No need to use the heebie-jeebies because we are we are clearing the lines. Okay. Oh, wow, we are in full-blown panic already. Awesome. That was great. At this point, I think I'll just buff my champion some. And then hold over my looking stars. How many stacks of panic do you have? Eight. <laughs> Let's see what we get with mental disorder. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Next to spike away. Why didn't that do anything? What just happened? Does not affect bosses. Ah, duh. <laughs> and yeah, sure, I'll do another 15 to trigger you once. That could have gone better. But I might... Yeah, I definitely have it here. I am in Panic 7. <laughs> Another Mill Disorder. I think it's just overkill. Looking stars. If I... I'm going to go steel shop. So I'm, I'm not going to see a magic shop. I might take this speculating on a minus two. And if I don't see the minus two, I'll just purge it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to skip all that. <laughs> no minus two. Intrinsic spell chain again. How many times have I seen that this run? Now that's interesting. Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that. That looks like fun. Okay. That brings me to 105. I'm good on shards. Peek of the Trinket Shop first. Man, I haven't seen any uh, Beyonder Relics this run. Uh, artifacts. Uh, artifacts. We're not playing Slay the Spire. Upgrade with Stalker. Okay. 
We're gonna spit it. All right, well. Nothing to love here. Large stone, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll just do another 25. Yeah. The, the steel shops betrayed us this run, that's for sure. But we're once again relying mostly on spell damage. So it's okay. I do need to buy a removal, though. Where are you? There we go. We speculated. Speculation didn't pay off. And we need to get a third trap shoot into the mix because we're up against Seraph the Patient. Just to verify. Where is mental? There it is. You are intrinsic. That's better than anything else I got here. I'm going to take it and spin. Oh my, okay, we are going all in on our mental disorder here. We're taking that. The rest of that's crap. I'm going to buy one more purge, and that's going to be probably that final fish. Yeah. We'll master you another day, Three-Eyed Fish. When we have a deck that actually wants you. 105 shards. Seraph the Patient. Let's get it. I think I want to... No, I don't want to play bottom. Not on Seraph the Patient. <laughs> All right. Draw and discard 13. Now we're going to draw and discard 13 again, or 12 this time, because it's X minus 1, but that's, that's fine. We are at panic 12. Okay. Sear you. Panic 13. We are already doing over a thousand points of damage with looking stars. And that's only because he has a meat wool. That is crazy. Oh my god. We didn't redraw Mental Disorder. And that's unfortunate. I'm gonna trap shoot twice. No, no, I don't want... I don't want that. Okay, you're quick. You're going to kill him. Not a problem. So we're going to do Seer Mind. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Looking Stars, which isn't going to be great. I mean, it will if I heebie-jeebies. Okay. Yeah. Now we're in panic. Then I'm going to do a nine-point spike. I 
don't have mental disorder. I'm going to go ahead and heebie-jeebie. Sear mind and panic. Okay. I have mental disorder. Let's get started. Okay, mental disorder again. Okay. We only managed to hit two panic. I want to see your mind. Seizure one, seizure two, and looking star should do it. Yep, Seraph the patient is dead. Flying kill. Seven turn boss rush. Did we even need <laughs> trap shoot? I don't know that we did. <laughs> All right, now we're in a damage race. Okay, mental disorder for 12. Mental disorder for 11. And a 13 panic seer mind. And then an 11 point spike. And we are rolling. Okay. No, that's weird. All right, we'll middle disorder here. Mental disorder again. One more time. That'll bring us down to two ember. Vex's spike does not work on bosses, so I'm going to use it to clear this line. Heebie-jeebies and an okay but not great seer mind. Okay. That will be a relatively unimpressive turn, but it is what it is. Okay. Wilder Helper. Trap Shoot. Torch. Seer Mind. Seizure One. Seizure Two. And then Looking Stars. Our mental disorders are just not showing up on Divinity. Okay. Yeah, this will still be fine. Seizure 2, and Looking Star should clear the line, and we're going to take 5, or we're going to take 3, excuse me. We've got the Divinity low. We just need to capitalize. I think this is a good heebie-jeebies turn. Oh, I should have middle disordered first, oh well.
Okay. Divinity is no longer dazed, so that's good to note. Okay. This is going to kind of be a bad turn for us, actually. This is not a great draw. We're not going into panic. All right. All right. This means we're only going to let 30 damage go by? Okay. That could be worse. And now we've got a bunch of spell shields on us. Okay. Alright, we whiffed. Alright, we're in panic now. Okay, then we're going to clear your damage shield. Seizure. And then... Oh! Ah! Oh well, I still clear the line. It's not... But I lose my holdover. Oh, okay, that might have been... That might have been a fatal mistake. Okay, I redrew it. Okay. What I think I'm going to do here... I think we have the win on Divinity if I trap shoot you. So, mental disorder. Mental disorder. Alright, we're in panic mode. Excellent. We're going to start with a seer mind. Double seer. Oh, we only get one seizure. And we beat Divinity via seizure. So, that was the first look at the Beyonder Clan. It's... It's something... It, it looks to me like it's going to be a clan that's going to require some very careful planning from the outset, or the deck's not going to work the way you want it to work. But that was a hell of a fun run. I had a great time, and I hope you had a good time. Oh, wow. What have we unlocked? Flamboyancy. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Flamboyancy, but flamboyancy. Uh, that, however, is weird. I'm not sure why I would ever want to bounce my units around the train, but uh, who knows? Maybe there's something to be done with uh, mutation spells cost minus two. Okay. Cute. Forbidden sticky note. Add Entropic to a target spell in hand and freeze it. Oh, okay. Where was that this run? You know what I could have done with that this run? Increase the Entropic Multiplier to 3. Once again, had I seen Beyonder Artifacts, I'd have loved to have seen that this run. Mass Hysteria. Trigger Hysteria on this floor. Units without a Hysteria trigger take three damage for each mania above zero. All cards I wish I'd have seen in this run. Chudspa. He's a unit. Okay, rare. Anxiety dies. Oh, well. <laughs> hysteria plus two permanently. Ah, see now he's the unit that I'd have wanted in this run. All right, we made it to level four in our first Beyonder run-through. Thank you for joining me, YouTube. I will see you next time.